There are several forms for the equation of the line. One is the slope-intercept form, where you have y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope of the line, b is the y-intercept, because that's when x is 0, x is 0, that goes away, y is b, and then x comma y is any point on the line. So x comma y is any point on the line. The one I use most frequently, although sometimes I'll put it into slope-intercept form if I'm going to graph it, is the point-slope form of the equation. I usually use this to find, uh, if I need to find an equation of the line, and that says y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1, where x1, y1, this is given, and xy is any point on the line. And m, of course, is the slope. The final form is general form. That's where you have all your x's on one side, and uh, y's on one side, and constants on the other. When we're doing systems of equations, lots of times we'll write the equation in that form. So it says here, it says in 45 through 70, find the equation of the line with the given properties. Express your answer using either general form or slope-intercept form of the equation of the line, whichever you prefer. They give me that the slope is 1 half and then I have the point is 3, 1. And I tend to like to use this guy, y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1, so that y minus 1 equals m, which is 1 half, times x minus 3. Now, personally, um, when I usually ask you to find the equation of the line, this answer is good enough, but that's not what your book wanted you to do. They said put it in slope-intercept form or in general form. So if I'm going to put it in slope-intercept form, I have to remove parentheses. And then uh, solve for y. So this gives me that y equals 1 half x minus 1 half. And that would it be it in slope-intercept form.